Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. You may not know me as a trendsetter, but this is what I'll be doing this month. Um, you know that I'm not after PBs. The only thing I'm after is to not skunk. So every time I go on the water, I want to have fun. I really don't care about f um, fish sizes. I'm not obsessed with PBs. Uh, my only objective is every time I go on the water, I catch something. I know that there are days that like two or three times per year that is impossible like i had a week ago that we had a lot of wildfires uh water is very very it was very 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 low uh, conditions were very hard low oxygenation i was fishing near my house uh, i was not moving around trying to find fish i was just trying to fish my usual spot and i skunked but either way, it's like one, two times per year for a person that goes multiple times per week fishing. So not that bad. And with that in mind, I will give you the run through of everything that I will do while I'm fun fishing around here, around my local river, or even when I'm exploring new bodies of water. And I, I'm not confident that I, let's say, somewhere... It's supposed to be bass. I will take my bass gear, but I will so also take my BFS and super ultra light gear because I know that the hypothesis of me catching something, it's going to be higher. With that in mind, I will give you a run through of everything that I own. So everything in this list will be deals on AliExpress um, and things that I, I personally have and are the things that I use to avoid bad days on the water. Uh, I'm not trying to sound like a guru. This is just the things that I do. As you may know me, you see me catching a lot of things, but a lot of things is better than skunking. If you are after advice how to catch your personal best, skip this video. So... This is the usual choice day video, so I will start running through the deals. I will may put some overlays of fishing stuff or some links um, while editing to the things being used on previous videos or in videos that I'm editing right now because I have a lot of stuff coming on. But either way, I will just click in here so you can see what you are expecting in terms of deals. So other than the prices going down, as a sale you also have these coupons for me are in euros because i'm located in europe so the euros off every 29 8 every 69 20 every 169 um 30 to 239 and 50 on 369 euros but starting with spinning so spinning it's the most i would say it's the easier way to get around discounting yourself uh, so i will start with rods and this is a rod that i'm using right now a lot it's the mifine ghost blade it's been my test mule it's faster than the illusion slash so if you after something faster it still has that i would say parabolic so it's very good at pinning fish even if they are a bit skittish and have soft mouths um, rule of thumb, every time I get a spinning rod, I always buy the longest that I can. So in this case, it's 1.93 meters. Uh, it's a 60 gram rod. Cast weight is from 0 0.2 to 0 0.6. You can cast one gram with this rod, no problems. Uh, everything featured on this video uh, from the tackle or the terminal tackle standpoint and lures, it will be... I think everything except one thing because you can really find it it's under three grams so this is the my go-to rod for everything um that i throw this is a very very cool rod it's a tubular tip so a little bit more springy than the solid tip and faster but either way this is the one that i use so Choice day, it will be 44.41 euros. Again, uh, I will not feature uh, any sort of 
cheaper rod than this because uh, you have to have in mind in this category of super ultra light you can save money on the reel you can even as i did the, the last week video five euro reel it will work it will not be the best experience because you can also have some feedback on the bites through your knob if it's properly trimmed and a very very tight system but either way spend the money on the rod uh, if you want to save money save it on the reel i will also share some options but this is the mefan ghost blade i already made a video on it pretty pretty cool rod faster than illusion slash F for me in my case it's better because it's more versatile than the illusion slash illusion slash is better for silverfish maybe if you're only after silverfish since i'm after sunfish and other things it's it's better and continuing on with me fine this is the nano jig i like this one because it has the short rod it's a bit um, stiffer than the illusion slash also but you get that 0 0.5 to 2 gram cast weight so this cast weight it's probably what you have other than the illusion slash that it's surprisingly low cast weight when you put 1.5 grams on the illusion slash it will start to whip and will not feel good casting but either way the nano jig it's pretty cool because you have in here this short uh, handle which is very very good for casting on tighter spots um, again I would go with a longer version for me I, it makes really no sense if you are prolific both on spinning and casting to go with short uh, spinning rods always get the longest unless you are on a tight spot and you don't want to go with casting in this case BFS so this is an analogic pretty cool rod I also made a video on it uh, i also have more videos with this rod being featured uh, as part of a combo and the other rod again it's a mifine it's the out range so 0 0.5 to 5 grams this rod is amazing if you want to go salt water fishing you can go with this rod uh, again get the 1.98 meter version you can also get a few g rings it's very very cool it's red i will also feature a reel that will make a pretty cool aesthetic combo with this rod uh, again as i told you the hollow tip um, and it will be eh, cheap 45 euros for this quality of a rod it's not that much but if you want something a little bit more special you also have the mavlos plume which will be on the great great paradise of 69.84 cents so uh, 70 euros let's call it 70 euros with important free shipping which is a good thing uh, from Mavos because not all the rods from them have free shipping so if you see the special thing about this rod on the spinning version is that it weighs only 53 grams so me fine rods will vary from 60 to 65 maybe up to 70 this one is 53 also features a 0 0.75 top diameter and a cast weight from 0 0.6 to 8 grams so it's it's uh, more versatile than the ones from uh, me fine at, at in terms of cast weight and you can also take it aging uh, you can only get it on one size so 1.8 meters that's the downside for me i wanted anything that can go near or just over two meters for me it's a good thing at least on spinning uh, last one it's a bit of a wild card i have it order i believe because i have faith on me fine i never had a bad rod from them it's the microbite it's aging rod uh, the cheapest version on this one for some reason comes with fuji guides and the other one comes from dkk it's uh, i think a chinese guide but it's better than the cheaper fuji uh, k with the o ring uh, guide rings on it so it's supposedly a titanium so it's lighter also if you see in here this is the light version but you see the tip 0.78 millimeters so 
very very thin tip 80 grams and it's a 2.2 meter rods i have this one coming it's already ordered uh, it will be 66 euros before the coupons and in here you also have a coupon from me find this coupon 05 it's not available on all countries i know that in croatia it doesn't work but if it works on your country it's uh, another thing to bring the price down uh, now passing to the reels uh, one reel that surprised me and i will put a video uh, of it because i i think i paired it with uh, me find ghost plate and they make an aesthetic pleasing combo and it's very very cheap it will go under 15 euros before coupons it's the DelQ NF. I have the 800 size. Other than having a bit of a deep spool, I will not say it's an excellent reel. But for 15 euros and 129 grams, Whoop. it's hard to beat. It's comfortable. It doesn't have a lot of sloppiness on it. Uh, the drag, it's surprisingly good and progressive. And again, 129 grams. I re really dig light reels. This one gives you, as you can see, a um, metallic arm, a nice ergonomic knob, um, good progressive uh, drag, which is important for super ultralight fishing, and the body doesn't twitch or twist. So, good thing you don't hear even hear a lot of geariness from the reel. So, it's a pretty good... I'm surprised with DelQ. All the reels that I got from them are actually pretty cool but continuing on for me the best reel that you can get for a super ultralight right now on the budget it's the iStar Verdant also very very light coming at 138 grams um, green and black also a good combo still a very very deep spool for super ultralight where you will be putting probably braid very very thin braid but under 28 euros or in this case 24 actually it's 24 so very very cheap very very affordable very very cool reel um very very solid so the knob it's very very grip it's the same one i think that you have on the iStar aurora air so very very comfortable they look like the ones on daiwa but surprisingly they are actually better um very very solid and good reel but continuing on one reel that is a bit more to your taste it has a, um, a shallower spool and the other two it's uh, 29 euros i think it's in if you can find it on super deals it will go until 25 euros so it will go down a little bit more on price but this will give you a bit more choice so if you are on salt water you can and you want to go with the outrange or even the plume you can go bit up on size so you can get the let me see in here uh, it doesn't have the the, the 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 so five kilos of drag but either way you can get a little bit more line if you need it going up on the on the sizes and it's still a light reel because it's I think 170 grams for the 800 size and it looks pretty cool with the outrange if you're in that sort of uh, color match on the combos this is good for the outrange rod uh, it's probably the one that i will keep on the on that rod and now my favorite reel from the super ultralight uh, side of things very very shallow spool amazing performance for the price i think this has everything beaten until 100 euros so this choice item it will have the discount and it's under 50 euros um and it's very very hard to beat very very smooth very very good drag everything is very very well made as everything i got from kingdom it's surprisingly uh, smooth and only 143 grams 10 plus one ball bearings uh speed it's pretty cool so this one it's 52.1 but if you get the 2500 even though it's a bit heavier if you are into salt water and you want to take your plume or outrange salt water uh 
you will have a faster reel. The maximum drag is 4 kilos, but it's more than enough for what you're doing. And the last spinning reel that I have in here, it's one that I have. Um, right now, it's I have the 1500S, but the 800, it's also a pretty cool reel that a lot of guys use, especially in Northern Europe. Uh, as you can see in here, it also has the 4 kilos of drag. It will hold a full spool of 100 meters of 0.6 PE, and it's actually very light. It's 153 grams and it's pretty solid. Uh, I would say with the 1500S, uh, it feels sturdier than the Kingdom Tagman, but uh, the Kingdom Tagman feels a little bit more smooth than the Artemis. But it's it's a trade-off so either way we'll, we'll get well served with either of one of these reels i'll probably go with the artemis for salt water applications it, the, it gives me more confidence that it can take more beating that um, tagman but continuing on with rods um now are the rods for bfs so BFS, I will not give a lot of products as suggestions because when you're going under 3 grams, that's what I'm doing and showing right now, there's not a lot of options from rods and from re reels. So this is a rod that I've been testing lately. It's the Kingdom Stream King. You can throw 1 gram with it, no problems. You can even throw 0.75 grams with it, no problem. It's fairly light uh, and it's short. So, as I told you before, I like my spinning rods long and my casting rods for this type of applications short. So, in here you have 1.39 meters and 1.53 meters. All of them are three sections. Some of them are ultralight and some of them are light. I have the ultralight version that is from 1 to 6 grams. And it works perfectly. It's a gorgeous rod with a wood handle and a metal uh, grip and reel seat. It's, or in this case, reel nut. It's an amazing, amazing rod. Very, very cool looking. And it will go to 35 euros, which is an awesome value. Uh, I will just show you a quick clip if I have it of this rod in action. Let's see if I didn't delete deleted it. But either way, it's pretty pretty cool rod. The other rod, a rod that I recommend it's the Pure Lure Quick Dance. Uh, probably the shorter versions for casting, so the 1.45 or the 1.68 meters. 1.68 meters, it's a um, bit more versatile. Uh, or you can also have the uh, light version. So the light version, it's a bit faster. Uh, but either way, it's pretty, pretty, pretty uh, good rod. If you can get the travel version, it's it will be even more versatile. Like I think they have in here. And for 54 euros, it's a good damn value. It's a very, very well put together rod. Very, very pretty. And I don't know if you can see over there the that thing on the butt of the rod. It's very, very comfortable. It will sit right here when you're holding. It will give you an excellent grip. It's one of my favorite rods to use on casting. Um, and last one, it's one that you can throw in your car. Uh, you also can get it on spinning and casting. You can get it with Fuji guides, non Fuji guides. Uh, this is the one I have. This one, the 1.75 meters. It it works. It just works. It's not fantastic. It's not bad. It's a telescopic rod, but it works. You can catch fish with it. Bass probably on the two to three gram range. It's where it works best, uh, under 2, maybe 1.5, but it's surprisingly stiff. 
for a telescopic rod. And now for reels. So for reels, it's the BFS. It's the opposite of casting, of spinning. Sorry. So in spinning, you want to spend your money on the rod and have a reel that works if you are on a budget. With casting and BFS, it's different. You want a rod that works, but a reel that performs. It's very very hard for a reel to go near or under one gram. Uh, the ones that I have in here, it's the usual suspect, it's the iStar Aurora Air. I have this reel, it works, um, it will cast near or shy of one gram, especially if you upgrade the bearings for hybrids, or like I have ceramics, it, it, it's amazing value. Uh, nothing can touch it on value, you will have to be lucky to like I, I had to have one that it works perfectly so mine works perfectly some guys have some problems with it so poorly shimmed uh, knobs stuck drags um, improper line lay are some of the things that you have in mind that can occur with this reel um, they are all fixable uh, they are all have been fixed and they all have videos on YouTube how to fix it so if you are sort of a guy that assembles the own furniture you can buy this rule and save a couple of bucks even if it comes uh, with some quality control issues if you want to just be rocking out of the box you get the uh, Lure Silver Feather it's my favorite reel, the plastic version, so the, no, I will not say plastic, so the carbon body version, so the air, which it's 119 grams, so very, very light, 4 kilos of drag, 11 plus 1 ball bearings, very, very smooth, and it can cast 0 0.75 grams, or even less, so... I am testing right now a Mifine prototype rod, the air spin, which is pretty sweet, better than the Illusion. Uh, it's actually very, very, very usable, other than some things that I already told Mifine. And I cut a mullet, and if you are after mullet, mullet, you know that the only way to get them it's with like sort of white presentations, like I was using the white Tanta and I was using also the white small fish from Super Continente and I was able to get bites and to catch one. Actually I caught two but first one it was snagged, I had one biting and when I tried to put the hook set I think I snagged one that was next to it. So. Either way, I caught two, but hooked properly one on the quick session on the morning. And I was able to do it because I, I had no spinning gear with me. I was heading to a place trying to catch bass and sunfish and pretty, pretty high tide. The only thing we could catch were mullets. And I caught a mullet with this reel on a Mi Fine Air Spin Rod that is rated from 0 0.2 to 0 0.8 grams. So with a Tanta, I think on um, 0 0.3 bead, tungsten bead and the knee hook. So pretty, pretty cool. I was able to land it with this reel, with a drag. So it's my, my favorite reel. Uh, the wild card on the real parts of BFS, it's the Miek. I have it, I tested it out of the box. I was able to, to throw two, two grams. So, what can I say? It's 170, $180 you have, as usual, if you open the discounts. You will have all sort of discounts. So, on this one, it's you can take 9.17 euros off, plus the coupons from AliExpress. It will make the price go down to, I don't know, 150, 130. 
uh, it's pretty pretty solid read uh, and this reel other than having the sort of DC system so it's electronic control the braking it's also a metal frame so uh, pretty pretty cool reel and it's still very very light so 146 grams so if you do bass fishing and you also do BFS this can throw up to 15 grams it's rated to 15 grams which means probably it will do more it also takes a lot of line and you can put thicker line on it so this is very very versatile but a bit expensive not the things that I usually cover on the channel but with bfs other than the Astar aurora you have to spend a little bit more if you want to go on the lower and lower weights but now for line uh very very affordable line so i'm not all the um, choice days and promotion days throwing you the microfly on the face even though that I think they now fix the quality control issues sometimes on the 0 0.4 and 0 0.2 P you would have some inconstancies. I found a new one that's even cheaper and you can get more of it if you are trying to spool a spinning reel. So this is the Zukibu Ultra Thinner Laser Nano Braided Fishing Line. Uh, basically it says fake on the... <laughs> on the spool you see in here fake it's a uh, four strand um, braid and they have it from 4.6 pounds until 30 pound so from 0 0.05 which it's maybe p 00001 i don't know i'm joking but it's very very low zero so they have three types or three versions of this um, braid that is under 0 0.10 so it's actually pretty cool i would not recommend the thinner lines for casting i would recommend i think probably everything from 0 0.10 up and for spinning you can go with whichever you want so if you want to go with 0 0.05 to throw flies probably you would be able to but they sell 100 meters 300 meters 500 meters and one kilometer of uh, line so but i think the best value it's on the 300 meter because it will probably be enough for all the spinning reels and if you are on the budget and you want to spool up your bfs reels 300 meters it's enough at least for three so pretty cool on zukibo and zukibo lines usually are good but my favorite line for bfs as you should know because i featured on my last video it's the lsp pro 2 pe uh, they also have 0 0.6 it's much more expensive but you can also have it 150 meters it's not good value 300 meters it's the value is not there to get more unless you want to put more line so 100 meters it's enough for one spool uh, i would usually say please put 75 meters and then you will backlash take the backlash and then the reel will be perfect uh, on ultra ultra low light uh, low weight bfs you can even go with 50 meters but then if you have a snag a bird's nest the first time you cut it you have too little of line on your spool but this one is my favorite it has a nice coating it's pink the pink will fade on your first two trips but the line is very very good very very smooth um it doesn't hold a lot of tension it's not too stiff uh, it comes out of the guides very very well it's good with knots so for me until now it's the best line that i tested it and for leather i think i have in here on my drawer i'm using now 
this that you can get uh, it's suffix advance I got it uh, as a recommendation from a friend in Norway but I also use the Zukibo because I'm almost running out of my Daiwa Pro Rex that I used for leaders the thing is this one works fairly well my problem is with most of fluorocarbon and I've used a lot of different ones from Aliexpress from uh, European stores like Decathlon from global manufacturers that you can buy everywhere on thinner um, diameters fluorocarbon will break a lot on the knots for me this uh, this fluoro from Zukibo will not break and it has a lot of lower line weights so it you can get it from two pounds so it's pretty pretty awesome and it's very inexpensive because you're using just a little bit at a time but my really recommendation go yourself grab your s and go to a store and get this to fix advance it's pretty pretty cool it's a copolymer it's like mono with a fluorocarbon uh, coating uh, and the, the other recommendation that i have is for some reason you want your line to float a little bit more so if you are fishing with cranks uh, top water uh, you can get go to your store and get a nice mono uh, that is abrasion resistant that that's the type of mono that works best for me on uh, knot strength and i'm not the best guy in the world making knots and i just resort myself right now to uh 20 um how you, how you say it 20 rotation on the albright knot and the, the palomar that's the only ones that i do right now i know more because i fished for carp i know how to put um um i not on a whole hook but leaders for me are, were the worst if you have adhd it's very difficult to be locked on and making a, a good good uh, knot for leader to mainline um it's very very hard you, i get easily distracted uh, now for terminal tackle you know me i if i'm going very very low and i'm going with nymph hooks and very very small jigs i prefer to use fly snaps because you can pinch them with your i would not say scissor but with your pliers or forceps and you just push and they will come out so in the winter i usually run fly snaps on my end of the line to put everything on and if you are more conventional and you want snaps because these are very very small and if you don't want to put knots and getting your leader shorter and shorter if you want to be always changing your presentation or your lure um, this can get very very small maintaining surprising a lot of strength so my pb bass which is the one that i have on my profile photo was caught on the this one the xs fly snap so they can hold their own but if you want more conventional ones you have these ones from the outkit which are 0000, 000, 000 size and 50 pieces for two euros very very inexpensive i didn't tell you until now but everything is linked below by order of appearance as usual all the links i think this time around are all of them are affiliated um uh, if you want something easier you have in here jigs these are 0 0.4 grams um very very small it's the only ones that i found easily found on aliexpress that have eight eight size hooks and i think all the rest have size six hooks so still fairly small and you have a lot of colors and it's 50 so 10 cents per jig head it's a pretty pretty good value uh, if you want something smaller more dense more compact 
um, you have this ice jigs. So this is from Moon. It's five. They are f a lot more expensive because it's tungsten. But in if you can see in here, you have from size 18 and 0 0.1 grams until 5 grams and a size 8 hook. So my recommendation is going to the 5 uh, millimeter, which is 1.1 grams, which is still pretty nice. And you have a 14 size hook, which is perfect for some of the soft plastics that I will show you in a minute. So Tantas, the small fish from Supercontinente. Um, this is a hassle free. You don't have to make like I show you on one of my first videos. Uh, grab tungsten beads, nymph hooks. This is uh, it's expensive, but it's already made. Also already made. It's this sort of EWG jig head. So fairly small, one gram, very compact. If you are f after bass and you can't be bothered to make yourself a presentation, just grab this. Still fairly small. The whole thing it's 3.3 millimeters. 3.3 uh, centimeters, so pretty, pretty small. Usually the hooks from Outkit are, I would not say the best, but they are very, very sharp. If you just want to do a, like a sort of unmovable Texas rig, you can do it like this. So pretty cool. And they will be 3.4 euros on choice take. If you want to do your own Cheb Texas rig thing, you can go on Super Continente and grab 0.75 gram shabs from tungsten. I think it's five units per, yes, five pieces. And then when the weight goes up, the pieces go down. But I think the ones that we want, which is 0 0.75, one and one and a half. I think all of them are five pieces. So still fairly expensive, but it's tungsten. So it's very, very, very it's smaller, like by one third um, from lead. And the other thing is all the tungsten bits have uh, proper snaps on them. So this thing in here, you have a lot of uh, lead chaps that have crappy, bulky, uh, stupid to operate uh, snappings. And this one's all of the ones that I have from AliExpress are very, very thin, good metal ones, easy to operate. You will not puncture your finger trying to insert a snap when you put the hook on. Um, also from Super Continente, you have this sort of EWG worm hooks that uh, you can buy on size uh, in here, size 10. So 21 millimeters, fairly, fairly small to put on with the soft plastics that I told you that it will feature in a minute. And if you want to go even smaller with EWGs or wide gap hooks with offset, you have these ones from Outkit that if you look in here, this one is the red one. It's less than an inch. Uh, um, in this case, it's one inch. So the gap is 10 centimeters, is less than half, but it's like 23 millimeters so pretty 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 small and you have even smaller with 20 millimeters on this this one 10 pieces 192 euros pretty pretty cheap and also if you want a jig i also found a jig that is fairly small so it's 1.8 grams the hook is a bit bigger but if you're going with the jig you're going after bass Maybe for small mouth, it's a good thing. I don't know because we don't have small mouth in here. We only have large mouth, but 1.8 gram and even 2.5 gram goes under the 3 gram uh, goal point that I have for today. So you have a lot of colors. You just get yours. Trim the skirts. You have in here the stopper for your plastic. You have the weed guard. They are pretty, pretty cool. I think I have mine on purple and this white and black. They are pretty, pretty cool. I would probably now, if I know what I know today, order the orange and black one. 
and probably this one also still because they are good colors for baths uh, now starting with soft plastics a brand that is cast fishing if you've seen here it says free shipping so this is not like choice items so if i want to order this pack of uh, i think 20 polari worms it will come to my house for one euro and 35 cents on choice day just that you don't need to make 10 euros of uh, purchases to get the free shipping but i will tell you a secret if you are on, are on your app you know if you do the login every day you will have 70 coins after some point you will be increasing you do i think seven days and you'll go to 70 coins uh, every day just for going on that page or every time you buy something you will get coins or every time you make a a review take a photo of the product product to put on a review on the end of your purchase so on the coin you have a under where the the place where you make the login to get the coins you have products with discounts cash fishing at least for me will have from 55 to 65 percent discount so i've been buying polaris like this one for 66 to 72 cents and they are very good because if you've seen here you have a lot of colors to choose from they are pretty sick they have a lot of actions a lot of action because of this indentation you can cut them a little bit so if you want to set your ewg in here nearer to the end tail you can and they are very very good very very compact so 42 millimeters so under five centimeters under two inches pretty pretty cool soft plastic and also from cast fishing when you're getting very very mad and after the dinkiest of dinks they also sell a half an inch maggot so you have a lot of colors to choose from this is just a maggot imitation you throw it on a ice jig and this is a perfect reaction bait so you see a tree near the bank, you just pshht, make a cast there and you try to entice the fish. Or like I did this summer, sometimes in very, very shallow water, you can just uh, give a whip and that will trigger a reaction on fish and they will try to, to grab it as soon as it stops. So this is very, very solid. You have a lot of colors to choose from uh, white pink you have even flaky uh, you have this sort of pearl gold with flakes in it orange i would not go with this type of colors but the brighter colors pretty pretty good at least around here for all type of silverfish the other one that works very very well especially on red it's this three centimeter very 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 cheap because you have 50 pieces i, I didn't tell you but the maggot it's like 100 pieces for 2.82 and i also get this one with 55 percent discount i think it cost me one euro and 10 cents to get a pack of 100 uh, maggots it will take like two weeks to get here but again as you can see in there on the corner free shipping on this soft plastic 100 pieces so this worm works very very well and if you are working with very very small hooks you can always trim it the fish just care about this tail end in here <laughs> waggling so solid performer this worm also good for aging on the sea and my favorite i will be probably doing a video about this guy over here so as you can see in here this is a two centimeter fish and they love it even mullet i caught a mullet with a white version they are amazing i think i have almost every color by now this is such a great lure if you have perch if you have chub if you have sunfish they are they get mad with this uh, if you are near a sunfish area they will destroy this ball and on the instant so 
probably one of my favorite lures. Um, I really love it. If look in here, this is what I'm talking. So this is a review. Sunfish, catfish, I think. They get mad for this kind of crap. Um, from Super Continent, I didn't put in here, but you also have a Tanta, which is a classic. If you go, I have a video specific about a Tanta. You can check it. It has more information that I could give you right now on this deals day. But continuing on, because I'm on 45 minutes and this will be almost a hour ordeal. <laughs> I'm mad at myself. Ah, this is my favorite presentation for bass. So you get the chub weight, you get the size 10 EWG hook or the one that I show you from Super Continente, the worm hook because this is fairly thin. All the presentations that I'm using are fairly thin, easy to small bass or bigger bass because I, I caught my PB with I think this exact one. Mm, let me check. Yeah, I got my PB bass. Mm, it's not in here. So it's a different product code, but it's basically this one. So this is 40 millimeter craw. So the crow will do this when you retrieve it and when it falls it will do like this if you have any sort of current and you also have the antennas and the small arms very very inexpensive very very good very very effective at catching bass uh, probably my favorite so this is a uh, soft plastics and now we are near the end hopefully and my favorite hard body bait so i'm a cranking guy this is a very very small crankbait it it cranks which is surprisingly because it weighs one gram and if you are on creeks uh, probably you want to uh, swap the um, <laughs> ginormous trebles that this one has uh, i would probably I don't know, because maybe you can keep them and try it out because it really depends what you're, what, you're, what you're catching. But this swims amazingly well for the size and for the looks of it. So it looks like crap, but it, it floats and just cranks very, very well. I think I have it on video. I will post it with the Dell Q and F800 review uh, maybe next week if I can finish editing uh, they also have uh, I will not call it sinking because it just sinks to some depth and after that it stops sinking for some reason so it's like um, uh, how do you call it uh, it's not sinking it will just keep there on the um on the water column so neutrally buoyant um, lure so in here they even explain you how to use it bite it when chopped so <laughs> i think it means you get played by buying it but basically you let it fall twitch it retrieve a little bit and repeat the, pro the process until you catch something it also works very well i also tested this one and they are fairly inexpensive for the quality that they have. They have a the the f these photos will not make justice of how they look on the hand. Also, this is not a actual photo. This is a montage. Look at this ring that disappears in here. But continuing on, now we have Letoyo. I think this is a copy from Jekyll but either way i have it they work they already come with single hooks that's the sort of thing that you should be using uh, if you are like me a shop fisherman so if you're on england or in portugal or france watching this at least in here shop i think 98 percent of the chub that i get they are hooked in here 
on the tail end of they always try to eat the crank from behind so having a single hook in there it's i think better than having the trebles uh, so 2.6 rams 28 millimeters under four euros pretty good value uh, they have a lot of weird colors even this ladybug this one is one of my favorites uh, this one should be good for trout and I uh, have to continue because it's 15 minutes crap a vibe also from Litoyo also already with single hook so you can take this trout fishing it works very very well it will sink but it's very very compact and I really dig them again I have this color and this one so i have the splashed white one and i have this pink and chartreuse and white one this i don't know they will not swim they will do this very well so it's actually pretty cool hard body bait also from litoyo and this is the exact same one that i have uh this is a mini crank 30 millimeters 2.8 grams slow sinking again single hooks I think this single hook, yeah, you can see it on the picture. Uh, they are barbless, so this is ready to go as uh, area trout or trout, um, no killing, whatever you want to call it. Uh, bait, it swims pretty well, I would say. Um, it has some indentations on the body, so in some uh, it's not engraving because this is molded plastic, but it's when you have it on the rand it feels very very as a quality product the bill it's it can hold a smacking i don't know if it's a different kind of plastic than the usual clear ones that you have uh, the only complaint i have about this one it's very very ho uh, hard to put snaps on on the end of it but it's a effective lure uh, for everything that you can catch on the stream it swims fairly well and now something a little bit more budget so 1.91 it's a very very small under four milli uh, four centimeters so 2.7 gram is suspended minnow it w should work as a jerk bait i think i have this color this color this color and this one i may have this one also and it's a small jerk bait you can use it for trout you can use it for chub you can use it for bigger sunfish if you are in America. Uh, I think you can also use it for smallmouth if you put travels on it. This really depends on the vendor. I don't remember which vendor I have bought mine because this is like general item. And you'll have some packaging with a single hook, some with travels, small travels, big travels it's very inexpensive just swap the hooks if you need to but they work and last one it's the only one that is over three grams but only by 0.2 it's a sinking uh, 38 millimeters jerk weight this is deadly for um, trout and spring chub so pretty pretty cool and this is basically everything i got I was supposed to do uh, organization, tackle shortage, but I'm running out of time and I already covered it on solo videos and choice uh, sales videos. So I think this is the end of it. This is everything I use that's under three grams for at least try to not skank uh, a lot as i said usually it's three times per year i think this year are already have the two maybe three but this year i fished a lot more than usual but still it's a very very good percentage of non-skunking days uh, so if you want to check all the items they are linked below and i will see you guys on my next video bye